a 9-5 to five lead. All five points coming from Rush. Jenkins looking to create his own shot, the rainbow. Knights looking to tie or take the lead on this possession. Jenkins again, back to back, and he ties it up at nine. Those players shot 40% from three last year, so significant losses for FDU, but they are playing well right now. Shovel pass and the finish. UConn pedigree, and Greg Horenda told us he's almost like an adopted UConn. As Johnson with the flush to Fairleigh Dickinson. Rush had a quick five points, an underhanded finish. Mulcahy looking for his. Dishes it off that time, the athletic move by Mathis. Letting them know what will happen if they don't start defending and practice the next couple As days. As a defensive coach, what stat do you think is going to frustrate him the most at halftime? Coming over with a block, Kamori. It was against different competition in Sacred Heart in that opener, but with Mulcahy and Rutgers playing without Geo Baker, he only played nine minutes in that game. They just looked like they still had a flow. Down another three, he's in double figure. Just so confident oh. when he's playing. Strong take from Young. They call him one of the fastest players on the team. Jenkins still looking for his flow. He can't find it. He's two of seven now tonight. The pull up for Young. And he hits. And Rutgers takes the one point edge after that three point make. 10 standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Again on the push. Here's Young. He's been there. Oh! Junior. Intense in the spot that I sit. <laughs> Jenkins with the runner. And again, Rutgers on the push. Mathis, a ringer on the row seat for two. With a double-double, we got to go back to 2008 to find the last one. Skip pass this time, a baseline take, and a great finish there for Mathis. 29 of the 42 combined between those two players. Harper's going to add to it. And one for Ron Harper Jr. Ooh, change of direction. Hello, Jacob Young. Jeez. The first half is yours. 45 miles down the New Jersey Turnpike. It's a drive that FDU made earlier here today, and both head coaches really proud to make this a jersey battle if they can. And on the first possession, Baker knocks it down from the corner. Harper Jr., who's had the hot hand, 17 points and four threes. The next three-pointer he makes ties a career high, by the way. How about that? Tough shot. Montez Mathis. Point in the first half, I did think it was Jacob Young. My quarantine <laughs> is fully between those two. Here's the take. Body bucket and one. Harper Jr. His best players, Elijah Williams, completely out of the mix. With the flush. Harper, his seventh career, 20-point game, looking for more. Spin, fade away off the glass. How do you stop that? You can't. Yeah, it's really been in transition because when that Rutgers defense gets set, Jacob Young, who just slithered through the defense, makes it really, really tough on Jenkins. Way to go, Ben. Deep. Yeah, deep triple try. You called it. Kalem Baker knocks it down. Jenkins going baseline. He tosses it away. Young will take it the distance. Ooh. He gets blocked from behind. Mag off the glass for two. And an and one. Tougher than he needed it to be. Yeah, it looked like he got caught of wanting to go early and made his mind up. And wow. Miles Johnson uh, playing volleyball out there. Yes. It's a shot from Meg, and Johnson there making it tough. Ripped away by Sir Jr. Taking the body contact and off the glass, Munden Jr. for two. You had a seven-point lead with about nine minutes to play in the first half. And then Rutgers defense, the offense generated things, and Johnson going off the glass, generating an and one. Looking to create and the finish with the left hand. Again, they have about 10 eligible players. They're playing about seven or eight, and it's a new career high for Harper Jr. Quist got one out uh, a little bit earlier, so I think he felt a little hesitation. Williams picks the puck. Hey, for the reverse. Mm. Nick Brooks with the bucket. Man, good rebound by Mag. See why they're going to like him in the future.